Electrophysiology textbook diagrams often show blood vessels as layered tubes, emitting the sympathetic nerves and fat cells that surround most of large vessels. In this light microscope image, adipose cells can be seen all around the vessel wall of a human saphenous vein, a vessel that is often used for cardiac bypass surgery. Evidence has shown that perivascular adipose tissue plays a functional role in modulation of vascular tone and produces vasoprotective factors. Therefore, it could be considered a part of the vascular wall. This animation shows a 3D model based on confocal data from a human saphenous vein and demonstrates the hypothetical mechanism of interaction between perivascular adipose tissue and sympathetic nerve fibres. The innermost layer of the vessel is called the tunica intima. It consists of endothelial cells, which serve as a smooth barrier between the blood and cells of the vascular wall. The endothelium releases vasoactive factors, whilst also controlling platelet adhesion, blood clotting and inflammatory reactions. The internal elastic lamina is a flexible barrier that separates the tunica intima from the tunica media. The two layers can still communicate through small holes in the lamina, called fenestri. Tunica media consists of fibres of elastin running between circular smooth muscle cells arranged in a helical pattern. This layer is responsible for contraction and dilation of the vessel. The smooth muscle cells are under control of neurotransmitters released from the sympathetic branches of the autonomic nervous system. External elastic lamina marks the border between the tunica media and adventitia. It isn't as clearly defined as internal elastic lamina. Adventitia contains connective tissue and collagen fibres, which give the vessel stability, along with macrophages, adipocytes, some stem cells and fibroblasts, whose role is to maintain the structural integrity of the extracellular matrix. Adipocytes express both alpha and beta adrenoceptors, which can be activated by adrenaline and noradrenaline released from the sympathetic nerves. Sensitivity of an adipocyte to a specific neurotransmitter is determined by distribution of adrenoceptors on its surface and the concentration of available transmitters. Our hypothesis suggests that release of two of the many adipocyte-specific adipokines can be modulated by the action of the sympathetic neurotransmitter noradrenaline acting on alpha and beta adrenoceptors on the surface of the adipocytes. Adiponectin, the first adipokine, has complex actions which include control of proliferation and migration of smooth muscle cells, along with modulation of smooth muscle tone. The second adipokine, nitric oxide, causes relaxation of smooth muscle cells, vasodilation and therefore increased blood flow. Both of these adipokines contribute to normal vascular structure and facilitate blood flow, thus supporting the notion that perivascular adipose tissue should be considered an essential part of the vascular wall.